Hello folks and welcome back to It's All About Racing. For those of you that are NASCAR fans, this video is for you and this is an absolutely cool car that we are going to talk about. To preface this, this is back in 2001 when in Richmond, Virginia, uh, they had the Monte Carlo 400. Seven cars were selected to be Looney Tunes uh, replications, basically. Uh, One-off liveries just for the Monte Carlo 400 in Richmond, Virginia, where I happen to live. Uh, and I was at this race, and it inspired me to seek for over a year to get all seven of these cars. Now, think back in 2001, you couldn't just get on eBay and buy one of these things. You had to find a retailer that had them. And if the retailer didn't have it, he had to contact other retailers that might have it. Uh, and that is the process that I had to go through. These cars sold for about, oh, I think they're about $100, $125 a piece. They were ungodly expensive. Um, they included not only a 124 die-cast car, but a jewel case, which they almost never came with back in those days, and a figurine uh, that that particular car had a relationship with Looney Tunes with, in this case with Bugs Bunny, with a Jeff Gordon 24 car. They made about 10,000 of these cars, and you can see right there. Uh, and what made this car even more spectacular was the color shift paint that it had on it, which is a DuPont product that basically the color changed is, changes as the light changes or the view that you angle at it changes. Uh, that stuff sold for thousands of dollars a gallon, uh, and they actually painted this car with that. There were seven cars in this series. You can see the other six there, uh, and I will review every single one of them on this channel along with their figurine and then do seven all of them together. And as you can see, it is a massively big box that this thing fits in. Such a cool, cool car. So let's go ahead and look at this in detail right now. Now, first off with this car, you get Bugs Bunny and you get this super cool figurine. It's shown every one of these uh, figures comes with the helmet that that driver wore at that particular race, this being the Monte Carlo 400. Uh, and that was Jeff Gordon's helmet. And I'm gonna shift Bugs Bunny around here so you can get a cool look at that helmet. Notice that the helmet also is painted in color shift paint and how the color changes as we move it around. Now you're getting a look at Bug Bunny's ass and the rear of Jeff Gordon's helmet. Now tell me if that isn't cool or what, huh? And there is the certificate of authenticity that you get with it, one of 10,812 pieces. And now this is that car itself and the jewel case. This was made by Ravel Collectibles. I mean, God, there are so many different manufacturers that made cars back in those days. But I'll tell you, the cars that they made back in the early 2000s, the die casts, are nothing like, I, I hate saying this, the crap that they make today. And the cars that they make today really are absolute garbage compared to what they made uh, back in the day. I mean, these cars were detailed to the hip. And this one is no exception. In order to get a cool look at this car, I had to remove it from its jewel box. But look at the paint. See how different it looks as the, as the camera's light changes the appearance of it from purple to blue. This is because of this color shift paint that it has. And naturally, this car is adorned with the Bugs Bunny and the Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo 400 theme that you see on it. And of course, this is a uh, Chevrolet Monte Carlo uh, that you're looking at. It. And yeah, obviously Chevrolet sponsored this particular race uh, in Richmond. And therefore, all seven of the cars that displayed this theme were Monte Carlos. Look how it's pink and brown. I mean, tell me if this just isn't the coolest car on the planet. This is a diecast car. <laughs> Think about that. Now here's a look at the back of the car. You have Corian number 24. And as we move around here. Now look at this. <laughs> You've got Elmer Fudd on the other side of the car. <laughs> Pepsi, Fritos. Tell me if that, who, God, who remembers Elmer Fudd? Elmer Fudd's not even one of the figurines, but he is one of those Looney Tune figures. So I guess it makes sense that he's on this car. And now we'll open up, we'll take a look at the fuel cell. 
which this one doesn't want to stay open. Uh, you know, a lot of these things that they'll, you know, they'll, they'll, the signal, this one doesn't want to stay open, but you can see the fuel cell, as you expect, is very, very cool in the back. Oh, there you go. It's open. It stayed open. I wasn't sure it was going to do that for me. But there you go. There you have it. And as you know, the interior detail of these cars are absolutely amazing. I mean, you can take these apart. It's literally just two screws, and I have done it. Uh, and, and, the, and it's not hard. Uh, the cars do not fall apart. And you can look at the amazing interiors of these cars uh, uh, that you have. And I, in fact, I have them in my display case. I have three of the one, one car in each of the three cases unassembled, uh, which is just really, really neat to look at. Now we're going to take a look under the hood. And here's a look at the underside of the hood. You even have color shift paint on the underside. And you can see the Monte Carlo 400 logo as well as the DuPont logo on that. And now I will lower it. Let's see if this wants to stay up. Usually these are really good. These, these Ravel models, they, they don't like staying up for some reason. But anyhow, you can see the, the remarkable engine detail uh, that you get with these cars. And with that color shift paint, my God, I could just spend all day looking at this. It is just absolutely amazing. Oh, there we go. Hey, it stayed open. Yay. And there you can see some of the inner details of that. Try doing that in 143 scale, huh? Now, as I mentioned, I have all seven of these cars in this collection. I will be reviewing every single one of them. This was one of the earliest races that I ever went to. And when I saw this one-off uh, you know, promotion that they had for the Monte Carlo 400 with the Looney Tunes, I just had to have them. And, and as I mentioned, I spent about a year chasing these down to get them. But I'm going to close that. Take a look at this side. You know, you had Elmer Fudd on the other side. On this side, you've got Bugs, Fritos, and Pepsi. As you can see, the color shifts just as we look at it right here. Isn't that amazing? And folks, I hope you have enjoyed it. With this, I will conclude this video. Uh, the next one we'll be looking at, well, to be honest with you, I'm not sure which one it'll be. I've got them in boxes. And you can see them right there, and I basically have to dig out the, the, box, <laughs> the, the box for the car from the box uh, in order to do these reviews. So I guess it all depends on what box I am able to find next. Now, as I had mentioned, uh, these cars come in this, in, this, in this huge box. The jewel case is included in there. The car is included in there. The figurine has its own little plastic box that it fits into. And there's a certificate of authenticity as well. All for this one car, for this one promotion. Thanks for watching. See you on the next NASCAR video.